Hello everyone, and today I'll be reading an Arlequino Listener by me. So let's get into it. Finally, I've got you. I've been looking for you for a long time. And you know, I never really thought I would be able to capture you this year. And yet, here you are. Finally, within my grasp. She chuckles, holding your hand. Now, before we start, are you going to be honest? or not. Just so I can determine my own approach, I wouldn't want to waste a lot of time on something that was not going to work. If you're honest from the start, then I promise, no harm will come to you. If you lie though, and I will know, then I can't assure you what happens. She says, a sickly sweet voice and smile that make you shiver. You were captured by the Fatui during a mission, and right now, at their base, with the knave interrogating you, you could only just wonder how many things were going to go wrong in your life. The knave? Of all people? The forest Fatui harbinger? Why? You were good at your job, but not good enough for her to pay attention to you. You could only wonder, and wonder just how badly this was going to end up. You didn't want her to end you in your entire life just because of your job. You still had many things you wanted to do. Many things in your life that you wanted to fulfill. You were not ready to end it now. And you were terrified. Terrified of what could become. Now, sweetheart, there's no need to look at me like that. You're not going to lie to me, are you? You shake your head trying not to make her angry, and she smiles, the effort of using her. Then you already know I won't hurt you. I would never hurt anyone who knows their place and knows what they want to contribute. But do you know your place? You nod. You were terrified. There was nothing you could do about this. You couldn't even fathom the idea of going against her. You knew that... If you just made her angry or displeased with your behavior, perhaps it meant you would meet your maker today, because there was no way that you were, were going to get out of this alive had she not wanted you to. So you had to listen to her, to get on her good side. You could only hope. And now, as you were tied to a chair in the middle of the room and she proceeded to circle you, she asked the questions. And you gave her the answers. Not a single lie slipped out of your mouth for you knew what would happen next. And you could not handle that. You couldn't just give yourself a death sentence just because you didn't care enough or were being too brave. You wouldn't risk it. And sometimes being brave was being a fool. And you were no fool. And when she was done, she smiled and tying you and holding your hand. You know, I was rather interested in your answers. You had a way with words, and I've watched you for a long time. Maybe if we had met under different circumstances, things would have been better for both of us. Unless you would like us to have a chance now. I'm sure you can't go back to your nation after all. I mean... Spilling all their secrets is not exactly the best reputation that any royal guard could have. So it's better to remain here, just for a while. You will be treated as a guest, of course. I would never be too cruel, especially if you have been so well-mannered and you listen to my every word. As I am sure you are to do, of course. Right? Yes. I understand. May I just ask you one thing? Go ahead. You have all the time in the world now. I just want to ask, why? Why did you... did you do this? I'm sure you could have known about this some other way. Why did you just bring me here? And... and why kill all those people? It's not really good for you, and there are so many other ways you could have solved this, I just... And that is none of your concern. 
who I choose to kill and who I choose to let live. That is my own choice that I make. And it's definitely not one that you should concern yourself with. Most importantly, I'm sure you should be concerned with something else. Like the matters that you'll have to deal with if you were to go back home now. So if I were you, I would be careful very well. Considering you would be staying with me for a while. Even more importantly, I wanted to get to know you. As I said, I've been watching you. And I found you quite interesting. So what better way to do all of these things than to bring you here for questioning and get all my answers and some more. You have to admit it's a little bit brilliant, is it not? No, I mean, it is. I just did not expect all of that. I... I hope that we can become friends. Since I'm not going back after all. You said that. I did. You know, back in my homeland... People have tea parties to get to know each other. If you would be interested, then maybe we could have one. I think I would like that. And then we could be more comfortable. Since we are going to stay together for a while now. You say, budgeting. And she smiles, kissing the back of your hand. Of course, darling. Of course. If it makes you feel better about any of this, then I shall do it. That's the last thing she says before leaving you alone, in the room. But the door is open. And you know that this day is just a start of many other days to follow. And you hope that you will not lose your sanity wherever she had taken you. Living with the knave was no easy feat. And it was something... That was going to be interesting, and maybe deadly in its own way. But maybe with the interest she showed in you, and her own feelings towards you, maybe then you had a chance that would be different than most. And if you had one, you were going to use it. You would just have to be careful not to play with fire, for who knows? You might just end up burning yourself.